symmetric perspective projection frustum. First, we will understand the perspective projection view volume. Here you can see it has been shown in the diagram that an infinite pyramid view volume for a perspective projection. Here you can see the point is the projection reference point and here uh, that view volume has been shown here and this is the clipping window. Another thing you can see here that all the planes that means the top planes, bottom planes and the si side planes are meeting at the projection reference point. Next we will see that what is a frustum. Now that infinite view volumes has been truncated now. You can see we are truncated at the here we have truncated with the far clipping plane. Here it has been truncated at the near clipping plane. And that portion between the far clipping plane and the near clipping plane is known as the rectangular frustum view volume. That is the and also you can say perspective projection frustum view volume. And and remaining things uh, remain the same. Now we will understand symmetric perspective projection frustum. The first we will understand the center line. The line from the projection reference point passes through the center of the clipping window and also passes through the view volume is known as the center line for a perspective projection frustum. If this center line is perpendicular to the view plane, then we will get symmetric perspective projection frustum and that will show in the diagram. Here you can see this is the here you can see this is the point known as projection reference point and here you can see this is the center of the clipping window. And the line joining these two also passes through the view volume. This is the view volume between near clipping plane and the far clipping plane. And this, this, and this line passes through this and this is, this is known as the center line. Again I repeat, this is the line joining the projection reference point and the center of the clipping window passes through the view volume and it is also perpendicular to the view plane and then we will get symmetric perspective projection first term. And another thing I have to mention here that the looking is taking place that means view is taking place along the z direction. Therefore, the x and y coordinate will not change only the z coordinate will change. Therefore, whatever the x coordinate and y coordinate in the center of the clipping window also remain the same but the z coordinate is different. And that I wanted to mention here. And next, I'm showing this is the uh, clipping window. I've shown in the line and shown in a line, but it is a plane, and that plane I'm showing here. And this this is the uh, cl clipping window, and this is the center of the clipping center of the clipping window, and this is the width height. And now we can easily find out that what is the xw mean xw mean is from x prp if we subtract half of the width we get xw mean and and xw max will get if if uh, we add this half of the width if is added to the x prp and we get the xw max and in similarly yw max and yw min and that I am showing with these equations and therefore whatever I told I am showing with these equations and therefore we can get the dimension of the uh, clipping window. Now we will discuss symmetric perspective projection frustum from the context of photography. Now the cone of vision in the case of a photography can be referred as field of view angle and therefore the field of view angle I am referring as a 
theta. Now you can see that in the diagram, this uh, this height of the clipping window is shown here, and this is the uh, field of view angle, and this is the half of the view of, uh, field of view angle, and therefore from the perpendicular triangle, uh, and we can we can see that, and this is the uh, projection reference point, and therefore distance between the uh, clipping window and the projection reference point is is shown here and um, this is only in the uh, difference between the jet coordinate because already i told we are looking at the jet axis and therefore x coordinate and y coordinate will remain the same in both the points and after that from the uh, right angle triangle we are getting this tan theta by 2 is this uh, from the right angle triangle and after uh, after uh, after this calculation then we can we can uh, we can get it and if we uh, substitute the aspect ratio we can get the width also and therefore this is the uh, this, this is the uh, that height and width we can get from the uh, field of view angle and if we know the aspect ratio we can get the width also that is that is all about that symmetric perspective projection first time.